Welcome back to the Living 808. There's a very exciting event that's happening this weekend. And Mikey's standing by at the Hawaiian Humane Society's Eva Beach location. Hey, Miguel! Hey, you guys. Um, that's right. Tomorrow, there's a very special event happening right here at the Humane Society's Eva Beach Kosasa Family Campus. I got Brandy and Josie here to tell me all about it. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for having us, coming out to see us. Okay, Brandy, we're going to get to Truffle in just a little bit because I know RJ, our director, was eyeing him out, but... RJ, I just gotta let you know that there's a connection already made over here, Can't brother. Can't compete with this bond already. <laughs> but, um, okay, so if RJ and everybody else wanted to come out tomorrow to check out the different animals that are up for adoption, um, they can because there's a special event happening. That's right. So it's our inaugural Keiki Canine and Kitty Fest presented by Josie Zohana. We're so excited because we're celebrating the one-year anniversary of our Kosaza family campus. So come on out Saturday, August 3rd. We're going to be here from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Free admission, but we are asking for donations to our pet, our pet food bank. Okay. Okay. or our Amazon wish list so you can give back to pets in need and have a wonderful time with the family. Speaking of wonderful time, I kind of wanted to show everybody um, about the, the products that we have behind us. Um, this is a part of what's called the Lucky Draw, and you have a bone to pick for everybody or with everybody. That's <laughs> right. So as a way of raising funds for the Hawaiian Humane Society and animals in need, we've got lots of fun activities and one of them being this. So you pay $10 and pick a bone that has a really cool little bit. Uh, you get to find out what kind of swag that you get to get from the Hawaiian Humane Society. So our exclusive merchandise like our Eating and Love collaboration, our Hello Kitty and Pachaco collab, lots of fun activities and games all throughout the day. We've also got cakey crafts and story time. Um, we're going to have incredible pet vendors out there so you can get swag for both yourself and your pets mm -hmm. and Onokine grinds as well so lots of fun for the whole family so much fun um, and actually speaking of fun I want to bring Josie involved uh, Josie you are the presenting sponsor in tomorrow's event here at the Humane Society's um, Eva Beach Kosasa family campus tell us why was it important for you to get involved with the K the Keiki canine and kitty fest it's beyond I, you know, I, I just think of what is so important is our keiki, obviously, right. because they're our future. Right. But um, what the animals and keiki, the, the bond that the, the children get with animals when they come to visit here or if they can adopt and they're with children. So the this campus, as well as our Mo'ili'ili campus, what, what it gives for our children in this event, the time to be able to be with animals, mm -hmm. to engage in this in this community, in the community, and what this this campus and ours gives to the community. Right. The um, so it's it, it takes pride for me to be able to give back and to support such an organization. For sure, 100%. Real quick, could you tell everybody a little bit about your organization, Josie's Ohana? Well, I'm I'm moving into having a foundation that's going to be able to support children and these type of programs with the Humane Society. Awesome. Perfect. So that's this is my start. This is my I ba love my it. baby step. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, and we can't wait to see your success. Okay. Uh, Brandy, I want to bring you back into the conversation. You did mention that there is the lucky draw that people can be a part of tomorrow, but they can be a part of you know, um, meeting a bunch of different animals. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect when they attend these, um, this event. Absolutely. So, you know, we are so grateful that we have wonderful partners like Josie Zohana, as well as Hawaii State Federal Credit Union, who has come in to sponsor all the adoption fees at both of our campuses. So Great. here at Kosaza Family Campus, as well as our Mo'ili'ili Campus, uh, come on out and meet some pets. The best way for us to truly celebrate our accomplishment of one year and that milestone <laughs> is finding as many loving homes for pets in need as possible, like Truffle here, who clearly has got a lot right. to say. Let's see. Truffle, that's Bobby, and I think he heard my producer, Kristen. Let's tell everybody about Truffle because Truffle is up for adoption. What's up, bud? What happened? What happened? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> tell everybody about Truffle because uh, people can come out and meet Truffle, right? That's right. So Truffle is just one of many pups that we have as well as cats that are available for adoption. Mm -hmm who are looking for loving homes. So this adorable boy is uh, listed as a corgi mix. I'm thinking he's got a little bit of some husky, Pomeranian and Husky. Pom. Maybe a Pomsky of, of a different color that we love, that gorgeous cream color. He's two years old. Found as a stray, but an absolute sweetheart. He's a little bit shy, so I think the camera is kind of buzzing him out a little bit, but he is a cuddle bug. You can tell he's leaning on me right now. He was doing that to yeah, you earlier. Saying, yeah. <laughs> we love a Velcro pup, don't we? We love a Velcro pup, right, RJ? RJ's our director, and he was wholly eyeing out Truffle before we started filming. Um, so I know you said that people can expect, you know, to be a part of the lucky draw, they can meet the animals. Um, what else should they keep in mind when adopting a pet? 
You know, you really want to think about having that conversation with your whole household, right? Correct. So whether you've got a partner, a significant other, roommates, or your family, your children, get together, have a serious conversation about what's the best fit for you, right? right. And the beauty of the Hawaiian Humane Society is with our two campuses and our off-site partners like Pounds Hawaii and Petco's, we have everything and anything you could possibly imagine. Great. So the best fit for your family, sometimes they choose you. I'm thinking Truffle might have chosen you. Uh, RJ, <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. But RJ, I'm not stopping you from coming down to meet him yourself. You know, well, you know what RJ and I will do? We'll stand on either side of the campus and see where he goes. He's going to follow you. I believe it. I, believe I it. love it. Okay, so again, you guys, it's tomorrow. It's the Keiki K9 and the Kitty Fest happening at both Humane Society campuses. Oh, actually, just our, co our, oh, just, our other campus. I'm sorry, yep. just, just yep. the other beach campus. Yep. Um, that's where we're currently at. Yeah. If anybody wanted to learn more information about, you know, the Humane Society in general, yep. the specific campus, and even the animals that are up for adoption, how can they do so? You can go to hawaiianhumane.org, learn more about the event, um, our cool list of vendors that we're going to have, plus our event map at hawaiianhumane.org slash celebrate. Perfect. And as always, you guys will have more information on khwin2.com. Brandy, Josie, and Truffle, thank you guys so much for talking with me today. Thanks to have, for coming out, guys. Oh, my baby. John and Kelly, back to you guys. <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh, Mikey, I think he picked you. Look at how cute it is. So uh, sweet. Wait, put your face in there, Mikey. <laughs> Yeah, Mikey! Oh, he's getting scared. Don't scare him too much. Gee whiz. It's funny that the barking started as Bobby got closer. Right, so right, right. I love that he was protecting me. He's like, that's a scary looking camera. Uh, <laughs> Stay away. Looks so like Mikey sweet. might have found a companion. The eyes on that pup. What was the dog's name? I forget. Uh, Truffle. Truffle. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I have a feeling Mikey will name something else if he... Well, hey, no, you know what? You guys will keep you posted on our, uh, our Facebook and Instagram page if Mikey does actually adopt that dog. Well, who knows? I mean, our viewers might run out there and beat him to it, too. Uh, true, that's true. Again, this is happening really, really soon, so make sure you head on out this yeah. weekend. It's going to be a great time. All right.